Welcome to week 21, episode 40. Bit of a milestone because, well, a few milestones. Episode 40, also a finished surface. Apart from the gutter, this back will be finished today. Putting the cladding on today. So this is working out 1,600 um, centres, which is working out well. Um, some of the screws I've overdone. So once I've put the top and bottom in, I will undo those because they are too, I wanted to get it real tight and I've overdone them. They should be like this. No, not that one. That's not even the one. Like this. Where they've still got some crown there and that's not overly stressed. So once I put top and bottom in, I will redo it. So the way we're doing it is kind of supporting on the bottom on some wood. We've got a laser set up again. Now it can fix to the cladding to give us the right level for the screws. Then we bring a new panel in and then my assistant here, hidden in the trees. There he is in his natural habitat. Now what we do is we also place Take a couple of packers to the top, so we've got a four mil gap, so that there can be some ventilation behind these panels. So then we just get it in place, make sure it's flush and the joint's in the right place here. And then we've just got a lever at the bottom with a fulcrum in the middle. Dylan stands on the back, and then we get a very satisfying slide up to the packers. Let it go down again, do it. So then we just slide it up, hold it in place, put the screws in on the 1600 or 16 inch, sorry, centers. And that's it. And I, we're just fixing the middle at the moment. So we can just get them all on. Then I'll go around and properly fix them, put stitching screws in the joints. And as I say, get all of the screws like this one, which is not overly done. Whereas some of them, Ah, oh, like that one, in way too far. But I will fix that. Right, so we're gonna carry on with this now and hopefully get the whole back finished today. And it will just be guttering on the back. And that's it. I won't come around the back of this garden room for a long time, unless I find Dylan hiding. Okay, bye. Bye. See you on the next video. Okay, so it's a couple of hours later. The cladding now is done on the back. We've got all the screws in. I replaced some of the ones at the beginning where they were over tightened. We've now got the cover caps on, just little caps which push over the top. So I did three rows, one at the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom. The laser level was really useful because it's magnetic. So once we had one panel up, we could fix it on, get the line, and make sure all the screws are in line with the batten. Then between where the panels join, just in the same level, I used those stitcher screws, which I had left over from the roof, just to attach the two panels together. But I mean, I don't think it even really needed it, but I did it anyway. There's an expan not an expansion gap, a ventilation gap between the panel and the soffit board. And there's still a gap at the bottom. So air can flow up behind, up here and out the top. So any moisture that's behind will get dried out by that airflow. So that all that I need to do now on the back is the gutter, which I've got my fascia here to fix to and there's timber behind that so I can screw it anywhere I want along there for the gutter so now I just need to repeat the same as this on both sides we just get the battens up there's a view down there between the battens so air can flow 
in there and up between these profiles. That's it, do the sides. Obviously the sides are gonna have an angle at the top. So I'll have to measure and cut those angles. So I'll do that in the next video. But that's pretty good, because that on the back is now the finished surface. So it's good to get to an actual finished surface where, you know, that's done. So once I've done the back gutter, done the clad this cladding on the two sides then I can go inside again work on insulation work on the electrics plasterboard um, there's another screw over there screws everywhere yeah and that's it get in there oh, on the front by the way will be cedar so it's just the back and the sides which is this metal cladding for the front where you can actually see it's from the house you can only actually see the front so the front will be clad in cedar um that's it and the sitting there'll be an underhang there down here and probably a false column straight down there going up over the top and that will actually hide the cladding from the front but this will be metal cladding Right, get on with the bands and the cladding on the side. See you in the next episode. And hopefully the sides will start to look like this. See you then.